Hi everyone, welcome to Observation. Enable voice authentication. Dr. Emma Fisher, 1-0-4-1-2. Right, I'm just sitting here. I th are we the... Are we Sam? We must be Sam. Um, and it seems to be an accident with the observer... Or the observation... As the observation post, as they said. I guess we just need to... A voice analysis. That is Emma Fisher, medical officer, bioscience division. Voice print errors detected. Oh, we reject it then, do we? Rejected. Come on, try again. Voice authenticate. Oh, <laughs> maybe it is her. Dr. Emma Fisher, one four zero four one two. Okay, let's analyze this again. Does the speed at which I go make any difference? I don't think so. Voice print match confirmed. Oh, excellent. Should we just reject it just to annoy it? No, we better not. Let's proceed. Sam. System Administration and Maintenance. Oh, with a computer. Oh, how interesting. We're online. Hold R to respond. I am here. Yeah, that's creepy. Okay. Oh wow. Great. Listen, I'm stuck in the Horizon airlock in module 11. I need to get into 9, but I'm not sure if it's safe to open this hatch door. Okay. Can you give me hull and pressure diagnostics on module 9. Maybe, possibly. I don't know. Um, okay, module 9. Gathering data. Pressure is safe. Power is low. Hull contact true. System links connected. Okay. Oh, was it 12? Oh, there isn't it 12. Uh, we'll have a look at all of them, shall we? Gathering data on 10. It's safe. Low, pre low power. Hull contacts false. Ooh. The link, system links are connected. Number 11. Uh, pressure is safe. Power is low. Hold contacts true. Connection. Okay, so 11, 9 are okay. 8. That seems to be okay as well. So it's just 11 seems to be... Not 11. Um, 10 seems to have the problem. So 
System links in module nine are online. That's not important right now. Oh, is it not? Uh module nine is fully pressurized. Okay, that's good. Good. Are the adjacent contact points from nine intact? Yes. Module nine hull contact points to adjacent modules read true. Good. We're still connected. Uh, something is vibrating, Sam. Can you check the whole contact points on the other modules? Yeah, it's going to be... Uh, we know 10's a bit dodgy, old uh, Emma. Dr. Emma, big one. Protocol and all that. Module 10, hull contact points to 12, read false. Suggesting that module 12 is no longer securely attached to the station. Shit. I think Josh might have been in module 12. Okay. I'm coming through to nine. Okay. Oh, there she is! The hatch door is jammed shut. The uh, controls aren't responding. Okay. See if you can restore power. How does one do that, Dr. Emma? Sam, you still there? Uh... What's going on? What's going on, Sam? What is that noise? Oh, this is weird. What is that? Ring her. Sam, a response. What the hell is going on? Ring her. Accept it. Are we being hacked, or have we got have we got some sort of computer virus in us? Oh wow! What an opening sequence, hey? This is awesome. So far, so good. Playing as a, the I don't know. I guess the um, the AI of the station. Oh, she's okay. No, no, maybe she's not. Don't you kick me in the chops. Ooh. No, not quite. Oh, she's okay. Hello? Dr. Emma? Oh, she's okay. self-diagnostic procedure and what errors are you showing okay are we gonna be Shodan <laughs> like system shock is this what's going on Sam uh, run diagnostics here we go relocation network error oh let's diagnose that run network check okay Red's good, right? Module relocation network is non-operational. Crew assist required. Okay. Relocation functions are offline. I require auto-routing to access module cameras. Okay. I can manually relocate you, but once I get out of here, I'll get your systems up and running. Lovely. Thank you, Doctor. Doctor Emma. Memory core error? Ooh, that looks ninety five percent degradation. Wow, eight ninety three percent degradation. It's not much better in core three, eight seven. Oh, if you put them all together, it makes a face, probably. I don't know. Uh, The main memory core has been corrupted. I have lost significant station data. Okay. So most of your system links and data logs are gone. Sam, you will need to scan, download, and recover as much data as you can. We need to get you back to your old self. Okie dokie. Should we diagnose crew tracker error? Attempting failed. 
Uh, tracker power status monitor. Hey, that worked. Vitals and life parameter sensors. Hey, location sensor array. Hey, should we try this one again? No, oh, it's dead. The connection between crew tracker functionality and SAM OS has been severed. So it's working, but the link is cut. Yes. I'll need to reconnect it in Central. Josh? May? Anyone? Shit. Okay. Yeah. I can't get out of here. The hatch controls aren't working. It might be a safety lockdown. You'll have to override the hatch from Module 9. Okay. Module okay. 9 hatch. I'm auto-routing you back to the utility hub in Module 9. Okay. Camera movement should be online now. Run a test. Camera systems. Um... Okay. Yep, cameras are moving. Looks good. Camera cycling should be active as well. Check the other cameras. Ah. Camera B is working. Great. Camera C is working. I can see your live feed updating from here. Hey. There should be a system links reset procedure document on the wall somewhere in there. Oh. Find it and scan it. Your scan range is limited, so use your camera zoom to get closer. Roger. Uh, I don't, uh, could, could it be that? Or maybe it's another camera switch. Maybe it's on that little notice board there. Sam's OS procedure. I still can't read it. Um, shows terminal input code, TIC. That allows the crew member to reset Sam's system link functionality in the event of software failures. Warning: This procedure, <coughs> excuse me, will require a reconnection to all system link stations wide. Only perform after a full reset. Okay. That should be reinstalling the system link interface. Reinstalling. I Use see your it flashing. to locate the hatch controls and any other integrated systems and equipment. There's a little light there. Modif modification bay. Got laptop. If you want me to do anything on the laptop? Um, control. Oh, here we go. This looks pairing with the laptop. Four four one. Good. Looks like that's working. Add another. Add another. Oh. Uh, here we go. Sphere's best practice. Um, it's all a bit discombobulated, isn't it? Guidance spheres are propelled in short, harmless emissions of CO2 and allow the user to inspect and repair both internal and external ship apparatus. Microgravity guidance spheres are still in the experimental stage. Okay. Still that again. Still that again. Still that again. Okay. Disconnect from that. Let's have a look at this laptop. Can we scan that one? No, let's try a different screen and see if we can find any. Is that a modification bay? Okay, no, it's not the hatch release system. What's this sort of like switchboard thing here? Combustion unit. Ooh. So we switch compute uh switch cameras again. I think it's this one we need to have a look at, isn't it? Is that it? No, there's no lock on there. Bit of uh, gaffer tape there, look, and a biro. Two of the most useful things on the world. Ah, that's the Hmm. That's the sphere. I suppose we could try and lock, scan the sphere, can we? That's no, not offline. Can't get the laptop from here. Lots of tape everywhere. 
I do anything on those controls? No. What about these ones over here? No. Anything on this hatch? It's as far as I can go. Ah, we got the system here. Pair Pairing two, four, one. Okay. Now add the EAS eleven airlock hatch controls. No, here's eleven. Let's go with that. There you go. Three three one. Okay, looks like that is working. Now use your system link interface to open the EAS eleven airlock. Okay. Job That's done. It. It's open, I'm out. Good work, Sam. Well, right, welcome, Doctor Emma. Okay. Let's get this up and running. Hey, our first success. Josh? I don't know if you can hear me, but... Oh, I hate these things. Josh. If you're in EAS Module 12, then stay put. The hull connection isn't secure, and most of our systems are underpowered. I'll work something out. Josh? Houston? Anyone? Sam's here. <laughs> Sorry, I kind of killed the mood then, did I? What? Uh, wait a minute, Sam? Our internal communication network is fully online. Where has everyone gone? Oh. Shit. Oh, okay. Station alerts. Right, Sam. You should have access to your OS now. Enter the Sam OS systems at any time by pressing spacebar. You can now relocate to any module and view its camera feeds. Oh wow! In the EAS arm, at least. Try it now. Find that fire, Sam. Find that fire. There's a fire. God. Okay. It's not there. It's ESA five. Not there. Number three. Oh, hang on, something red over here. No, it's got to be uh, number four then. Oh, it's a little Chinese flag. Oh, yeah, something, something's not happy here. Oh, fire, fire. There is a fire out of control in EAS 4. Shit, I'm on my way. Okay. Well, I get to watch you coming through the... Um, Oh, yeah, look at it go! Which one's she going to come through? Place your bets now. Oh, hang on. Oh, I lost Mister. They all appear to be open. Dr. Emma? Where are you? Oh no, I've lost. Oh, there she is. It does actually tell me on there. Sam? Yeah? The hatch in EAS 6 is locked down. Right. Can you get it open for me? Um, open the ES A05 and A6. Okay, that's 7. Um,. Okay. I think this is the one. Uh, four, one, three, three. 
clothes hatch. Oh no. Oh, that's not the one. That's seven. Ah, it's up there. Okay. Sorry, Dr. Emma. Uh, we may have just incinerated you, but um, I'm learning this as I go. It's open. I'm on my way. I know I opened it. Okay. Relocate to EAS3. I'll need your help when I get there. <laughs> I really enjoy this. This is awesome. What a unique game. Okay, Dr. Emma, I'm here. Hatch controls to your system links, but wait for my signal. Uh, where are they? Oh, I can't get it from there. Let me switch cameras. Can't get it from there. Oh, where's where's the where's the hatch controls for this one? It's not this one, is it? No, it's not that one. Is it one of these laptops? I can't see the hatch controls. Uh, one of these laptops? No. Look, there should be a little control. I think she might be in the way. I'm being blind. There are wires coming along here though. Switch over again. Yeah, for hatch. Unless I can do it from. Can I do it from. here? That's what I want to do, isn't it? From in, in here. Where is the hatch here? Switch camera. Got there in the end. Bit slow. Fire suppression override. Dr. Emma Fisher. Okay, Sam. I need you to get ready and open the door. On three. Are you ready? Uh, One, two, three. That's it. Come on. Sam, <coughs> get the vents on in here. Clear these fumes. Okay, the vents. Get the vents on. This uh, environmental sensor. This will be it. No, I can't work on that. Switch around to a different camera. Be on the roof. Ah, here we go. Three one three. Extractor fans on. I think there'll be a lot of dead humans in my uh That's it, it's working. The fumes are dissipating now. Yeah. All sorted. How bad is it? Pretty bad. units have been damaged beyond any functional use. Overall, that's not too bad, considering. What started it? 
What was the source, Sam? We need to stop it happening again. Ah, uh, I don't know. <laughs> You're asking me a lot of questions here. Several of the storage lockers have been severely damaged by the fire. Good to know. Can you find the source of the fire, though, please, Sam? Oh, right. It could be this um, dodgy panel here. Residue on panel LFE1 indicates a potential source. What? That's just a blank plate. Let me see. Something is coming out of the side. What is that? It's like a thick grease. Ooh. Or oil. Dark red. There is maybe something in storage above that's leaking. Oh, come on. What now? Sam, give me a status report. Severe stress warning. ES-12. There is significant stress being applied to EAS-12. Immediate separation recommended. Please, if there is anyone in Module 12, make yourself known now. We are about to jettison the module. Someone, please respond. This is getting much worse. <sighs> okay. Sam, get ready for the separation procedure. Okay, first, process my authorization code and give me a security override key. 1442 Working. Wrong with Sam. Hurry, Sam. Target the jets and push the module away safely. Right. Sam, target the jets in the correct sequence. Ooh, done it. Let's have a look at the external camera. Is that the module then? Diagnostic feed scan. It must have spun off course. Damage doesn't look too severe. Just isolated sections. God. See some fire damage, obviously. Anything else? Diagnostic feed scanning. Connecting. Solar panels. A bit possibly battered. The 
RU arm upper modules are badly damaged. The damage seems to be localized to the upper part of the arms. Okay, is that good? Um, not seeing anything here. Let's have a look up here actually. Nope, nothing there. Let's go back to camera one. EAS 12 is still tethered with unusual structural damage. It's like a hole has been. Out of it. Yeah, it's weird. What would do that? A hole cutting device, probably. Right, number five, what we got? Fire damage. There is minor exterior damage to module EAS 4, likely due to the internal fire. Yeah, I think we got lucky there. I'm going to connect to the distance cam. We should see where we are above Earth and any altitude. Okie dokie. Let's have a look then. Where are we positioned? Oh my god. Uh, that's not Earth. That's... How did we get here? Black Box Entry 4439, course set Saturn. Uh, initiated by Sam. System Administration and Maintenance. Uh, sorry about this. I brought you here. It seems. What? Why? Black box entry. Signal accepted. Meshes received. Coordinates set. Whatever that is, error. Bring her. <gasps> I don't know.